You ever have something stolen from you? Maybe you lost your wallet or somebody took your wallet, I should say. Maybe a piece of jewelry, something taken from your car. Doesn't leave you with a good feeling. But when someone stole the Easter Island head from Boise's North End, the neighborhood lost more than just the value of the object. This violation took away some of their daily traditions. So now what? Well, here's Katya Stepovic. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe somebody would take that. Why take something that brings joy to a neighborhood? Senseless. For over a year and a half, this empty hole was home to an Eastern Island Moai statue in front of this North End home. I was like, this must be April Fool's. But today, I was shocked. Like, I, yeah, I just, I stopped in my tracks. I was like, I can't believe that big statue is gone. Yeah. Like, I, I had to do a double take. This busy corner that welcomed hundreds of neighbors near and far sits quiet and empty. And I can't even count the number of times that we would be out gardening or just hanging out and somebody would stop and strike up a conversation because it's just this like kind of um, goofy little piece of like silliness. The Goodrich family said the statue spoke to them when they saw it was being thrown away years ago. So they gave it a home of their own and a look that changed with the holidays and the seasons. And it was like a landmark, like people came by to see what he was wearing next. And my daughter is actually like kind of possessive of like how things had to be on him. It was like, it was her little buddy. She actually named it Kira. So if you ask her, she would um, very uh, stringently tell you that it's a girl. Five days ago, overnight, someone or some people dug the nearly 100-pound statue, Kira, out of its place, and with it went some longtime community traditions. It's like salt in the wound because it's not something that's useful to anybody else. It's just something that we kind of embraced as a neighborhood. As word of the statue's disappearance spread on social media, upset neighbors started posting their own messages demanding its return. Oh, we will find you. Yeah, the mailman's all over. They will find you. And I'll let all my people know, too. Now, many just want to bring the Maui statue and all that came with it back in time for the Easter holiday. Just bring it back, no questions asked. Stick it back on the corner, and we'll all be happy, and nobody has to be mad and upset about this. Just bring it back. Yeah, and I'm standing right in front of the hole right now. You can see it left a pretty big hole. I mean, the family had to dig just to get the statue underground in the first place. So whomever really wanted to take this statue had to put a lot of effort in doing so, Brian. All right, Kate, I can imagine that maybe the police are looking into this. Are there any like community cameras out there that may have recorded something? Do they have anything? And, and, and now what? Well, that's a great question. And uh, actually, yes, the family was not planning on doing something in the first place. But because of all the commotion that you saw on social media, BPD actually came to their house and said, listen, we want you to fill out the police report. And they did. They say even if the person or people come forward, they're not going to press any charges. They simply just want their statue back. And on the topic of a ring doorbell camera, unfortunately for this situation, nobody has video facing this very corner. Oh, that is unfortunate. So I guess we just have to wait and see if somebody does happen to bring it back. All right, we'll wait and see. Thanks, Katya.